Okay, so taking a look at our next section on the notes, um, we're going to be learning about how to use the cosine rule for angles. So last time was the cosine rule for finding the side of a triangle, or little a, and now we're going to figure out how to use that same rule to find the angle if we don't know it. So first thing to look at here is the actual formula that again, it'll be given to you, but there's a few things you'll want to do to it to help make sure you use it correctly in your calculator. And that's going to be to put brackets across everything on the top, and you can also bracket the bottom as well. And to get the final answer here, a is actually going to be equal to the cosine inverse of everything that's been given to you here in the formula. So that would be a big bracket, little bracket, b squared plus c squared minus a squared bracket all over 2bc in brackets with a bracket. And keep in mind, again, there'll be little invisible time signs there between the 2, the b, and the c. So, taking a look at what we can do to use this, same rules apply, or same steps kind of apply as last time. The first thing you want to do is actually label the unknown angle a. Um, and so if we look around here, this problem's actually done already like that for us. We see that the unknown angle here is labeled with a capital A. Second step will be to label all the other sides. And to do this, first thing we want to start with probably is labeling the side that belongs to that angle A. So here, again to figure out which one's going to get the little a, it's going to be across from A. So little a and big A will be across from each other. And from there I can just label clockwise B and C. Doesn't really matter, but as a habit that's usually how I will do it. And to help remind me about labeling the rest of the triangle, I could call this one up here big B and this angle down here little C because it's across, or sorry, big C because it's across from the C side. Now the next step then is just plugging this all into the rule. Sorry, plug into the rule. So taking a look at how we can plug this in, I've got cosine of a is equal to bracket b squared. So 11 squared plus c squared, which is 7.5 squared, minus a squared, which is 9 squared, bracket. All over, which is the same as using divide as well, if you prefer to think about it that way bracket 2 times 11 times 7.5 in brackets. So if we plug this whole right hand side of this information into it, remembering the brackets, you should get an answer that is 0 0.583. Now to get the final answer, because that's not yet the angle A, that's the cosine of the angle A, it's different than how big the actual angle is, so to undo this last step, if you remember, this is similar to finding the angle stuff that we did before, we're going to have to take the inverse. So a is going to be cosine inverse of that decimal you found, 0 0.583. So using the inverse button. And that one is going to be a is equal to 54.3 degrees. And this makes sense to us, the angle is actually 54.3 degrees. So again, label the unknown angle with a big A, get the opposite side a little a, then clockwise label ABC, and from there plug it straight into the formula as you see it, but don't forget to add those brackets. And the last step again is to take the cosine inverse of that number to get your final answer for the angle. So looking at one more example, again here you could pause the video and try it on your own and see how you go, or if you want to just follow along that's fine as well. So thinking about the first step that we've got, remember the very first thing we want to do is actually label the unknown with a big A. And in this problem, as a confusing thing, they've actually labeled that as a B, which is not going to be helpful for us. So I'm going to cross that out and call it A. So even if it's an X or a Z or a W, whatever you're looking for, you can just label it A to help you plug it into the formula correctly. So knowing that the angle there is A, that means the side opposite it is going to be little a and then going around clockwise, I'll just call it B and C. Plugging into my formula, 
cosine of a is going to be equal to 8.5 squared plus 10 squared minus 8 squared and I need to put brackets around that whole top divided by um, 2 times 8.5 times 10 putting the brackets again and this time I'm going to get sorry cosine of a is equal to 0 0.6367 and again that's not my final answer that's telling me the cosine so it's a ratio information there not the angle yet I need to do the cosine inverse to figure out what this angle is actually going to be so a will be equal to cosine inverse of that number 0 0.6367 in this case, A then turns out to be 50.5 degrees. Now alternatively, in your calculator, if you've got to the point where you say 0 0.6367, you can start to use your answer button, which is actually shift on the negative sign down next to your equals button. So you could type in cosine inverse, then hit the answer key, and you won't actually have to type out that full decimal. It'll just take that decimal and put it right back in for you. But typing it out again, watch your rounding, leave three or four places there, and put it in, you'll get your angle. So again, cosine A here is equal to 50.5 degrees.